Okay, I'm gonna sing to you again. Da 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 Uh, Joey's tea cap is here. Is Jim Roush dead? Well, we don't know. He's off the sex offender registry, despite being sentenced to lifetime registry on the sex offender registry. He's no longer in his family's holiday photos. And according to uh, people that have called him, his phone is now disconnected. So those three things make me think he's dead. However, the skip tracer looked in Hamilton County, contacted the Hamilton County coroner's office, and there's no record of his death in the county that he lives in. And I talked to the coroner in the city of Cincinnati, and there's no death certificate on record there as well, last year or, or this year. I didn't want to make a video on Jim until we knew for sure if he was dead or not, but I also didn't want it just to sit there in limbo with everybody wondering. So the official answer is uh, we don't know. So I figured I'll share with you um, a, a clip from his interrogation where he talks about his family's curse. And a while back, Jake Daniel found some old news articles from the 40s and from the early 60s that correspond with uh, Jim's family's curse that he talks about. So big, big thanks to Jake, and I'll share those here. Tough night. No. I mean, it's, I, I don't want to go through this ever again, but... Tough. How old did you say you were? 59. 59. Going on 60. You've seen a lot of life. Mm hmm my father was killed when I was three years, two years old. Really? He, he was shot in the back, and, and uh, my mother was uh, 17. Well, Jim, your mom was actually 21, not 17, when your dad was shot. This is a news article that Jake found from October 11th, 1948. Indianian shoots to protect wife, kill Cincinnatian. A prowl on rooftop. At Richmond, official reports on victim and railroad worker. James Clifford Roush, 19, of 4317 Normandy Ave in Madisonville, was wounded fatally early yesterday in Richmond, Indiana, where police charged he threatened a young mother who was trying to rock her 10-month-old child to sleep. Richmond Police Department records showed that Rouch was shot as he attempted to gain entrance to the second floor room in which, in which Miss, Mrs. Howard Scholl, 19, was nursing her baby. The police report indicated that the Cincinnati man climbed a tree to a roof of a first floor garage and terrorized the woman. What happened was described last night by Captain John Rizzio of Richmond Police as follows. A few minutes before the shooting, we were called to the Scholl home. We had been summoned to the house next door a short time before. A man reportedly seen on the roof at the address answered, and we found out later to the description of Roush. It wasn't long before we found Roush seriously wounded on the ground under a front porch at the Shoal home. We were told that Mrs. Shoal had been awakened from her sleep by the crying of the baby and that she was attempting to pacify it in her living room, and she saw the man at the window. Mrs. Shull was terrified and aroused her husband. He came from the bedroom with a shotgun, went to the window and asked the man, who was on a one-story roof outside, what he was doing there. The man kept advancing. Shull fired the gun. The man rolled off the roof and he fell six or eight feet to the ground. That's where we found him. Roush died at Reed Memorial Hospital at 9.30 a.m. from gunshot wounds to his left side and arm. Captain Rizzio said Roush admitted when on the way to the hospital that he had been on the porch roof, had threatened the woman nursing the child, and he had refused to halt when the husband pointed the gun at him. Wow. And she brought me up and went through all that. She died a couple years ago. Oh, really? Yep. What is? Oh, 
how how my sister and my half sister and, and they always you know they always come back with you know you never know you don't you never know um, I'm sorry that was I didn't really answer your question but it, it really does <laughs> it's more it's more intuitive than you think. Um, Actually, my mother said something in my history would always come back. And um, her, my mother's brother-in-law was like the um, head of the Democratic Party in, um, in um, Claremont County. And uh, he, was, he was corrupt as hell. Well, yes, technically, Jim, it is your mother's brother-in-law. An easier way to say that is it's your dad's brother, and an even easier way to say that it's your uncle. So about seven months later, um, the Cincinnati Inquirer reported on May 3rd, 1949. Held on morals charge, Eugene H. Roush, 29, of 5731 Bryson Ave in California, Ohio, was charged with indecent exposure last night in a warrant sworn out by the father of a 12-year-old girl who reported that Roush had acted indecently in front of her yesterday in Alt Park. Roush was arrested by Park Police. I, I really didn't know him very well, but we, we'd go down, we'd have, we could, we could, I mean, this is, we're talking about 30 years here. We'd go down and we'd have, have uh, rabbit and squirrel in his house. You know, it, was, it was that down home. And uh, I don't know what she really wanted. There was something in her back in the history, something back in the history of, of, of my family that that uh, not that she wanted to hide, but she just you know wanted me to always keep it low. No, and I always didn't do that. I was I was an upfront musician. I I played a, I played every country club in Cincinnati. Oh really? Yeah, I, I play piano, and I, I, you know, I really have. I play. There isn't a country club in Cincinnati I haven't played. And um, it's funny. I played for for big people. <laughs> I was thinking, and just as we were talking about, thinking about the times that I played from Marge Shot. It's at Cincinnati Country Club. I'm sorry, I mean, you're this bore as you, but I'm sorry. And if you wondered how Jim got that scar on the side of his mouth, Jake also found a news article from 1961 where there was a four-car pileup and 14-year-old Jim was sent to the hospital in fair condition. His mother and his sister were reported as in uh, good condition. Um, so Jim was in fair condition, which meant he had some injuries, and that's the theory on the scar. So hopefully the next update we'll have on Jim, we'll be able to say, hey, he's alive, or ah, he's dead. So stay tuned. Thanks.